Hey, what's up, guys? This is the Blue Toad Seven here, and I wanted to record more Mario Kart videos and start a new Let's Play. But um, apparently, my brother thinks that the family computer only belongs to him, so he put it in his room. Yeah. Anyways, I can't really do anything right now, so anyways, I might as well talk about something, and that, if you looked in the title of the video, I'm going to be talking about items for Mario Kart 8, because I have nothing else to do. So anyways, in no particular order, here are 10 random items that I would like to see in Mario Kart 8. Number 10, the Boo. Remember in Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart 64, uh, Super Circuit? and DS. I'm pretty sure that was it. Anyways, the Boo is an item, and I'm pretty sure in the earlier games it would, or well in all the games, it would turn you invisible, and in some of the earlier ones it would slow down first place, and then it would also steal an item. Well, for whatever reason, it ha hasn't came back to Mario Kart 7, which was the first portable Mario Kart that didn't have the Boo in it. It was also the first Mario Kart that didn't have fake item boxes, but... Or, well, no, Super Mario Kart didn't have fake item boxes, but that's besides the point. Boo. I would love to see that come back to a console Mario Kart, because it's been absent for, like, two generations. It would be awesome. Just turn yourself invisible and steal an item. Just, why not? Number 9. Remember Super Mario 3D Land, and that game had the Tanuki Leaf, and that game... Or, and that power-up came to Mario Kart 7. Well, what about bringing back the statue leaf? You know, the one that turns you into a statue. Why not? But instead of being an item that helps you, it could be a hazard. So, you could put the statue leaf on the ground. When somebody hits it, they turn to a statue. They can't move for a couple seconds. And they eventually turn back to normal. And that's that. You know, the effect could last as long as getting hit by an icicle thing in Sherbert Land for GameCube. Just a thought. Number 8. You know the bullet bill, right? That thing is fast, that thing is crazy, it will hit anyone in its path. Well, how about bringing back, or not bringing back, but bringing in the rock mushroom. That, you know, that thing that turns you into a gigantic rock and you can roll over anything. Except, you know, with the Bullet Bill, you had no control of where you were going. You just had to follow Bullet Bill and pray that he wouldn't abandon you on top of a cliff. I don't know if I have any footage for that, but... Meh. Yeah. But instead, the Rock Mushroom, you could have complete control. So if someone's hanging on the sides, waiting for a Bullet Bill to pass by, well, instead, you can control your Rock Mushroom to hit them. Think of it being like a Mega Mushroom and a Bullet Bill combined. Number seven. Ah, the spring mushroom. Do I have to say anything more? Number six. This item was in the original Super Mario Kart, and it hasn't been in a game since. The mini mushroom, or the poison mushroom, as it was back in the SNES days. But, you know, poison mushrooms, they kill you. Mini mushrooms, they shrink you, yeah. Anyways, the mini mushroom could also be a hazard, just like the poison mushroom was in Super Mario Kart, and could pretty much just do the same effect. Yeah, that, that's all I got. Number five. This one's sort of two items in one, just because they're both pretty much the same, and, you know, the ice flower and the ice shell. Either one's fine. You know, you know the fire flower in Mario Kart 7 where you could throw fireballs and hit people with them? The ice flower pretty much would do the same thing, except instead you throw ice balls. And when somebody gets hit, they get frozen. Same thing with the ice shell. It's like a normal shell, except when you're hit, you're frozen. Yeah. Number four. The metal cap. Or metal mushroom, metal box. Whatever. Like, back when Mario Kart 7 came out and we saw Metal Mario, we all thought, oh, could the metal box be coming? Could there be, like, a metal mushroom, metal cap, or something like that? Nope, it's it's just Metal Mario the character. But, I mean, it, it made us all think, what if maybe for the next Mario Kart there could be an item that turned you into metal? Something like that. That, 
I mean, that's what we all thought for Mario Kart 7. It would be it would be pretty interesting to see it come over to Mario Kart 8, or well, be a new item in Mario Kart 8. Number three, this item was also in Super Mario Kart. It was also exclusive to Super Mario Kart. It's the feather, the item that allows you to jump in the air for a bit. Except now that we have the glider, how about allowing the feather to let us hop in the air and then take out our gliders? You know, so. You know, the feather allows you to jump, just keep that same jumping ability, except instead of falling back down to the ground, we just deploy our glider and we glide, and maybe there could be some interesting shortcuts for that. Um, yeah. Number two. Super Mario 3D Land did have another power-up, and this also came back into Super Mario 3D World, and that's the Boomerang Flower. So these boomerangs can hit people, knock them out, you could throw them in certain directions, up, down, left, and right, and you keep it for like 10 seconds shooting, uh, shooting your boomerang all around, stuff like that. Number one! This item appeared in Super Mario 3D World. I think it would be really interesting to see it into Mario Kart 8, and that's the Double Cherry! So, you know, that ability to split yourself into a clone, and then you could pretty much take two hits. So if one of your clones dies, you don't have to worry about it, because you still have your other character. So how about in Mario Kart 8, you give us the double cherry. And so instead of having one racer, we have two. So if we were to get hit by an item, instead of actually like getting knocked out from the item, it would just go through one of the clones, and then we would go back to racing like normal. It's like an extra hit, something that you don't need to worry about. So like, if the blue shell comes, you could hit your clone, and then you'd be safe. Because your clone took the hit, and he would just disappear, like how they do in Super Mario 3D World. And I think this could really change up the gameplay. And finally, blue shells won't be as god overpowered as they are in every other game. Or just, you know, make the blue shell rare, like how it was in all the other games, but... You know, Nintendo's never gonna do that, because... The blue shell gives them sales, I guess, I don't know. But, um... Double cherry. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully, I'll put up a new video by then. So... Yeah. Bye.